India is located in the south of Asia in the Indo-Malayan ecozone and is a peninsula adjacent to Pakistan and Myanmar. India is 1.269 square miles, making it the seventh largest country in the world. In South India, the climate is tropical, wet, and dry, with it being wet during the monsoon season in the middle of the year and with it being dry the rest of the time. In North India, the climate is more arid, humid, dry, with it raining less and also relatively mountainous in some regions. India has very diverse ecosystems. Most of the ecosystems in the north are mountainous boreal forests, and the ecosystem in the east are mostly arid deserts. The ecosystems in the west are plains, and the ecosystems in the middle and south of India are mostly rainforests and deciduous forests that receive a lot of rain due to the monsoon season. The coastal ecosystems are mangroves and also some rainforests, with the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Most of the terrain and elevations on the coast are below 500 feet, but the elevations in the middle of the country are anywhere from 1,600 to 3,000 feet. Major rivers in India include the Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers, two of the largest rivers in India. Since 1980, the Supreme Court has tried to implement new laws and regulations in certain areas in India to reshape the environment and geography and eliminate pollution. India is the third largest emitter of carbon dioxide after China and the USA. Since the air is quite polluted and dusty, some people suffer from the effects of allergies, asthma, and some lung problems. There are also problems with non-potable water and a lot of sewage gets dumped into rivers such as the Ganges and Kaveri, which leads to water pollution, death, and illness from non-potable water. In 1984, an event known as the Bhopal gas tragedy occurred, in which many people died as a result from a gas leak from a pesticide plant, exposing 500,000 people to the gas and causing 16,000 deaths. Some laws were created to prevent this, and this led to the enactment of the Environmental Protection Act in 1986. India is the third largest coal producer in the world. They also import a lot of oil and are the world's fifth largest provider in electricity. India also has a long history in fishing and natural gas industries. Irrigation is also a major part of the agriculture in India, and some other crops that are being produced are chickpeas, coconut, cotton, groundnut, maize, millet, rice, and wheat. As a result of all the agriculture, India's forest coverage is declining a little bit due to the large increase of agricultural production. India is always also trying to reverse their deforestation trend, with it being one of their most significant goals. They are trying to invest U.S. $26.7 billion to increase their forest cover from 20% to 33% and combat deforestation. India is the second most populated country in the world, soon to be the first, with over 1.2 billion inhabitants and a total fertility rate of 2.5, India is soon to become the most populated country of all. The average growth rate in India is 1.22%, with more than double the amount of births than deaths, 19.5 births to 7.3 deaths per 1,000 people. More females are likely to die as infants than males with infant mortality, mortality rates for females at 43.2 deaths per 1,000 live births and males at 40.5 deaths per 1,000 live births. However, the total life expectancy in this region is about 68 years of age. The age structure in this region is highly populated with 40.7% of the population being 25 to 54 years old. This is followed by 28% of the population as children from 0 to 14 years old. With India as such a highly populated region, efforts to control the population and bring down its inhabitants in order to preserve and maintain resources include the sterilization of women. The Indian government believes this an effective way for women to bear less children as not to increase the population overload. There is a wide range of religious beliefs. The majority of inhabitants are Hindu at 79.8%, leaving Muslims at 14.2%, Christians at 2.3%, and Sikhs at 1.7%. The literacy rate in India of those over the age of 15 who can read and write is clearly favored to males. 81.3% of males are educated while only 60.6% of females are educated. Only 71.2% of, of the total population is educated in India. India is a country with rapid economic and population growth, who is a major player in the world market. It has become more and more involved since its independence from Great Britain in the early 50s. It has the ninth largest economy by GDP and continues to grow every day. Most of its economy is from agriculture with slightly less than half the population involved in the industry. This ranges from small home subsistence farming used for providing food from the family to large commercial operations with modern equipment to feed the masses. Other things India is known for is its coal production which makes it the fourth largest producer of coal in the world. That being said, 
This rapidly expanding economy and high population growth has caused large amounts of poverty in the country. The average daily income in India is $1.25, with over 900 households owning 20% of India's wealth. The major cause of their poverty is due to a high population growth. Because of rapid economic expansion, India has one of the world's fastest growing energy markets and is expected to be the second largest contributor to the increase in global energy demand by 2035. Accounting for 18% of the rise in global energy consumption, India's landmass contains a multitude of both types of resources in its economy. Especially in rural areas, it is heavily dependent on their consumption or export. India's current environmental policy is dominated by the country's landmark National Environmental Policy instituted in 2006. The policy starts by acknowledging environmental degradation in India is being driven by population growth, poor resource usage choices, sanitation issues, and poverty. The guidelines then go on to state that environmental protections need to be integrated into development processes. Perhaps one of the most pressing of India's environmental issues is poor sanitation. Environmental sanitation promotes health of the community by providing a clean environment and breaking the cycle of disease. However, sanitary conditions are appalling in India. India is in need of a great sanitary awakening. When looked at from an economic standpoint, inadequate sanitation cost India almost $54 billion, or 6.4% of the country's GDP in 2006, meaning that not only is sanitation a social and environmental issue, but an economic one as well. The environmental, human health, and economic effects can be seen in the figure above. Furthermore, as the population distribution chart shows, India is still very much a developing nation, meaning that as of now, it still does not have the resources to combat all of the environmental problems it encounters today and will encounter in the future as a result of urbanization and uncontrolled population. Growth. In terms of India's progress towards Millennium Development Goals, policy decisions such as the Integrated Housing and Slum Development Program, National Program for the Education of Girls at the Elementary Level, and the Reproductive and Child Health Program have all helped decrease poverty, improve education for women, and decrease child mortality rates respectively. But India still has much to do before it can meet the goals set forth by the agreement.